to purify a peculiar people unto himself, zealous of good works. I'm talking about you tonight. Something has happened to you. Revival in your soul. Revival in your spirit. Revival in your heart. Revival in your body. Revival in your prayer life. Revival in your family. Revival in your business. You will be happy to live. That thing that you know, I don't know whether I want to live or not. I want to die. No, this time not, nobody wants to die now. I said nobody wants to die now. The strength of the Lord will carry you through. The power of the Lord will carry you through. Because the blood of Jesus is washing you tonight. It's cleansing you tonight. It's redeeming you tonight. And it wants to purify you to be a peculiar person, a peculiar child of God. You'll be zealous of good works in Jesus' name. Point number two now. The present restorer and restoration. In this present day, the present restorer and restoration. Thank God, everything you lost before is going to be restored today. Everything you have been wishing, I wish I could have that. I wish I could get that. Tonight is the night of restoration. Isaiah, Isaiah, I'm reading from chapter 57. Isaiah chapter 57. I read here from verse 18, Isaiah chapter 57, we're reading from verse 18, I'm waiting for you, this one is so good, you must not miss this, Isaiah chapter 57, look at verse 18, I have seen his ways and will heal him, I will lead him also and restore comforts to him and to his mourners something left your life and you are mourning you are sorrowful you are sad cheer up I said cheer up restoration has come tonight that's it I tried to grab it I lost it and then my mates are now far ahead of me you'll catch up with them because it says, I have seen his ways. I've seen his regrets. I've seen his problem. I've seen his challenges. I will heal him. You're healed tonight. I will lead him. He'll lead you tonight. I will restore comforts unto him. Chapter 58. I see chapter 58. Verse 8, then shall thy light break forth as the morning. Thy health shall spring forth speedily. Thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be the rear watch. Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. Tonight, a night of answered prayer. Tonight, a night of receiving miracle. Tonight, a night of manifestation of power. It says, then shalt thou call. Who is this talking about? I said, who is this talking about? Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger and the speaking of vanity. He that draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity. Darkness will be driven away from your life. Confusion driven away from your life. Weariness taken away from your life. And thy darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord shall guide thee continually. 
and satisfy thy soul in truth and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden like a spring of water whose waters fail not and they that be of thee shall build the old waste places thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations your life will bless many generations your ministry will bless many generations your impact will flow into many generations and thou shalt be called the repairer of the bridge you'll be a repairer your own life is repaired and then you turn around you repair the lives of other people your family is repaired your projects repaired your business repaired and now you are going to give a helping hand to other people you'll be a repairer and then the restorer of paths to dwell in the restorer of paths to dwell in jeremiah chapter 30 jeremiah chapter 30 I read from verse 17, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17, restoration. I said restoration. Look at verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee. Is she there? Did she come today? You see there? Did he come today? Health restored. Strength restored. Deliverance restored. Dominion restored. God said, I will. When he says, I will, nothing can hinder him. The name of that sickness does not hinder him. He has said, I will. And tonight is that night. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds. Internal wounds, I will heal thee of thy wounds. That external wound, the sore that have been there for many years and refused to be healed tonight, so dry up in Jesus' name. Also, internal wound. I cannot eat anything that has pepper. I cannot eat this. I cannot eat that. Be healed in Jesus' name. I will heal thee of thy wounds. Since they performed that operation, you are going to give birth. And now the wound has been there. And the wound has continued. I dress it, I dress it, I dress it. Tonight you are healed. That wound will close up in Jesus' name. You are kind of vomiting blood. And then you went to check up. Oh, they say there is wound inside. And since that time, they gave this medication, that medication. And the wound is still there. Look at me, look at me. You are healed. I said, you are healed. Look at number 17. I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. But 18, thus says the Lord. Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents and have mercy on his dwelling places. The city shall be builded upon our own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. I will multiply them. 
they shall not be few. I will also glorify them. They shall not be small. The children also shall be as aforetime. Their congregation shall be established before me. I will punish all that oppress them. You are free. You are coming to something new you have never seen before. Verse 22, and ye shall be my people, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Restoration. Restoration. Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 26. Isaiah chapter 1. We're reading from verse 26. And I will restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Joel chapter 2. In Joel chapter 2, the Lord is promising you that restoration has come. Look at it from verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. When will that happen? Are you sure? Can you say like Job, I know. The Lord will do great things tonight for me. Verse 22, be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth a fruit. The fig tree and the vine tree do yield their strength. Be glad then. Be happy then. Rejoice then, ye children of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with wine and oil. Verse 25. Read it yourself. One, two, three, go. Did you get it? Is that for you? I said, is that for you? And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. The canker worm. The, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know, ye shall know, ye shall know that I am the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people, and my people, and my people shall not be ashamed. Verse 32, verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord have said, and in the remnant 
whom the Lord shall call. We know it has happened. I said it has happened. Because of the promise of God. Because of redemption. Because of restoration. Now Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords. And your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, let the sick say, let the poor say, you are strong. You are healed. You are delivered. Look at verse 21. Verse 21. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. I will do what I have not done for them before. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. You have come to that Zion. And in that Zion, today, you have your miracle. Obadiah, Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 17. Obadiah, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess my brother you will possess your possession my sister there you came to possess tonight you will possess your possession number one the promised redeemer and redemption number two the present restorer a restoration. Number three, the prompt response and realization. The prompt response and realization. The Lord is going to respond promptly tonight to your prayer. As you open your mouth like this, and then as I pray to seal it up, prompt response for you tonight in Jesus name the word is now somebody shout now shout that again look at I say look at I say I say chapter one now for me it's now for you it's now Prompt, response, and realization. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Tell me the first two words there. That's prompt. Come now. And let us reason together, says the Lord. Do your sins be as scarlet? They shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Your salvation is now. The cleansing is now. The forgiveness is now. If you be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land your mouth will be full. Your life will be full. Look at